welcome everybody. Today I am driving my 2024 Model Y Performance. And we're going to test the full self-driving here in the daylight. Just updated to full self-driving 12.5.1.3. And we're running a version 12 software from 2024.26.10. So we're going to go ahead to the convenience store real quick and see how it behaves. I'll go ahead and enable the full self-driving right here. And this is a blind intersection. So we'll see how, how she does. Oh, pretty good. It's clear both ways. A nice acceleration to get up to speed here, 45. Now I have it set to chill mode, but chill mode, it still, it still rings the gas a little bit faster than, than what I know, how I normally drive. But that's okay. I made a previous video last night with the full self driving at night. really dark so can't really see much because it's it's nighttime but I wanted to test the full self-driving in the dark to see how it behaved and so today we're gonna test it in the daylight now the previous versions of full self-driving is usually pretty good on regular streets and when I say regular streets it's well-marked streets and highways where you get into trouble and where you have to really be careful is when it starts getting into like construction zones and atypical situations um, like a road closed anything like that um, I've driven the previous version of full self-driving in the rain um, works pretty well I was kind of skeptical at how it would operate in the rain but it, it works pretty well um, obviously you want to supervise it <laughs> don't want any accidents but yeah so oh, looks like we got a cyber truck to the left of us halfway in this lane which is all we can really do right now because the car didn't switch to this lane sooner in there obviously you'd like to see it switch from the turning lane much quicker than it did my experience is that it would have waited till it got further up and then tried to merge over at which point the traffic in this lane may have not started moving yet so we would have had to uh, wait and we would have you know caused a, a backup a little bit but 
minor, minor situation there. I guess the software update is also supposed to read the speed limit signs too. So we just passed the 35 one and I noticed flickered there. Alright, so now we're getting over. Our destination is up here on the right. intervene so we don't we don't hit that work in progress is full self-driving still a work in progress and we'll go ahead and end it there uh, don't forget to give the video a like subscribe turn on that bell icon so you can get notified of when we upload some more videos 